What's poppin' guys? Welcome to the Dead Boy Fitness Podcast. So something that I was thinking about today is the forever evolving concept of body tr- body positivity. Um, I'm in the middle of a body transformation. I'm on my six of 12, so I'm about halfway there and it's been quite a journey. But you know, my, my clothes are fitting better. You know, my, my walk is better, work is better, sleep is better. Everything just clicks for some reason. I can't put my finger on it, but when you're in shape or when you're in better shape or if you're, you see noticeable differences and changes in your body, your life just goes a lot better, you know, and you feel a lot better about yourself. And I think it really is like kind of a placebo effect to an extent. Um, I do honestly believe that people treat you different if you are in better shape because you are more appealing to the human eye. You know, um, people say, oh, you know, I'm not shallow or I'm not judgmental. B.S. You can't help but to be judgmental because you're human. You know, um, if someone is neat, and organized, trimmed, they smell good, um, they're visually appealing, they smell better. You, you normally treat them better because they're more enjoyable to be around and they also make you look better if you're with them. Um, but, you know, if they're fat, they're sloppy, clothes are hanging out, um, have five o'clock shadow on their head you know you tend to tend to uh, treat them a little bit different compared to if they were well put together um but you know it varies you know and and it isn't necessarily just skinny people or people that don't have their stuff together or their health in order um there are people that are bodybuilders that you know that that are the same size as the dude behind me (laughs) the dude just like shredded shredded you know but they get like seven percent body fat instead of six you know they automatically think that they're just like a fat slob um and it is really a mental game and it's really hard for you to to notice you know these moments where you're being you know you're not treating yourself fairly you know because you're obviously in great shape compared to the average person and that's one thing that i try to remember is that you know I, I'm not like a, a bodybuilder to the point where I'm competing, but like fitness has always been my thing. I've always been in great shape and even my worst form as far as like my body or my physique compared to the average person is still pretty good. You know, I could like let it all go and it'll still be pretty decent compared to, you know, the average person walking. Um, and that's something that a lot of fitness influencers, bodybuilders, um, fitness people in general, the whole community, it don't matter. You could be a fan, you could be an influencer or celebrity or whatever you want to call them, the enthusiast. It don't matter, man. It happens on all levels of all scales um and the sickest part about it is that like your mind does it you know your mind does it and your mind has an unfair advantage because it knows you more than anyone else knows you um knows what you're going to do before you do it and how you're going to react so it's kind of it's kind of difficult and hindsight's always 2020 um me personally, like I got in like the best shape probably like three, four years ago. And it was to the point where I didn't have no neck. Like my sister was agree taking steroids and like looking back, I, like my was pretty huge, but I wasn't taking steroids. But that's the best compliment you could possibly give someone. But I didn't know it then. I didn't know I was in that great shape then, you know, but but now when I look back, I'm like, holy crap, I was pretty huge. You know, <laughs> like I didn't realize uh, because I had that big orexia, you know, that was like a, a thing, you know, I would be jacked and shredded and everything. I had veins pumping and still man still thought i was scrawny but it's pretty nuts man body positivity is a funny concept and some people think they're you know they'll be huge and clearly have like health conditions coming their way like you know high cholesterol high blood pressure etc and they're like oh no look phenomenal you know as they're like getting carted you know out of their home because they can't walk or you know you guys have watched uh, my 600 pound life but you know, the, the, the concept of body positivity is pretty interesting. Me personally, you know, I'm just trying to get in the shape so I can push it. I'm 27. I know that, like, I can't keep lifting like this forever and see noticeable um, amounts of growth without steroids. Um, I might hop on some TRT one day, you know. But um, I know that, like, as far as my testosterone um, production, that's going to go down around, like, 32, 35. So I might as well, like, max out, um, you know, my youth as far as working out and achieving my, my physique. Um, it's just, like, a challenge that I'm doing towards myself and the hardest concept for you to remember like when you're doing this is you don't own it you know um and you don't own it if you're young if you're old it doesn't matter because life happens things happen you get injured um there's just ups and downs that's kind of the way life goes but like you don't own the muscle it's just here for now you know um so that's one thing i just try to keep in my head that way when it does go or if it does go you know because you always want to be optimistic um that i can keep my head in the game 
and still make positive decisions and my whole life isn't over just because I can no longer work out and as much, you know, and I try to separate, you know, this is more of a project and portion of it is, is for YouTube, to be honest with you, because I put in a lot of effort in my workouts and stuff. Um, but I have other stuff going on and other strengths in my life and working out isn't my whole life and fitness isn't my whole life. And being able to um, to recognize that is really important and to have other strengths, other hobbies, other interests, other specialties, then lifting weights and looking jacked. Although it was, it is one of my favorite things to do, you know, but um, just to have to separate it, you know, from, from who you are and your characteristics as a person, that way your mental health stays intact, you know? Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the forever um, evolving concept of body positivity um, and self image. I just think it's very interesting. Although, you know, I'm kind of biased because the reason why I'm out here lifting and getting jacked and the reason I made this YouTube video, you know, I get, I, it's like, it's like full circle. I work out for YouTube and I make YouTube to make sure that I work out <laughs> that way it keeps turning. You know, it's like accountability. Uh, YouTube keeps me accountable. Um, and cause I keep, I can keep track of my fitness progress. And as I'm to make sure I'm tracking my fitness progress, I make these YouTube videos. So it's like full circle. Um, but you know, I want to look good in these outfits and these V necks, which I have my shoulders like 3d and cap and stuff and my biceps and to be all cut up looking like somebody just sliced me you know but um yeah let me know you know i'm trying to get a dice to the socks on the daily baby please but let me know what you guys think about um body positivity you guys have a great day as normal healthy don't hurt i am out